everybody. Uh, very good morning uh, to you all. The purpose of uh, calling a separate uh, press briefing uh, before the actual event uh, was uh, because the subject that we are dealing with is uh, actually uh, very technical in nature. And uh, also, sorry for interruption. Uh, just for recording purpose, your introduction. I know Mr. Yasin from DC. Okay. Can we get the recording? I'm Yasin Chaudhary. Uh, I'm an IS officer, 2015 batch. Uh, I'm currently MD Energen. Uh, audio, audio, audio. Audio is fine. We keep on uh, giving some press releases or the other, but uh, the subject at hand was technical and uh, it required uh, some detailed expounding. So that's why we thought that we'd invite some people over and uh, start talking about it so that uh, we can build up, uh, we can have some build up before the event. Uh, I'm sure that uh, a week ago you would have followed this uh, very important development uh, in the health sector in JNK. That was the release of the SRS uh, survey results. The SRS is the sample registration survey, uh, which is uh, conducted by a third party, a government mandated third party agency, uh, to look into our uh, leading health indicators. And I'm very, very proud to say that uh, Jammu and Kashmir uh, has uh, uh, dropped its IMR by a solid three points. It has come down to 17 points from 20 points, and uh, this is the largest. Uh, increase ever in the history of Jammu and Kashmir and in fact uh, the largest increase between two successive readings in the whole country ever. So this goes on to, share, so, uh, this goes on to show that uh, all these major uh, you know, developments that we have made in terms of uh, in addition to our uh, healthcare infrastructure, particularly maternal and pediatric infrastructure has yielded results and uh, we are securing uh, the lives of our neonates and infants. Uh, now, uh, before I go on about this, uh, let me tell you a bit about what we have been planning. So, uh, on 6th June, uh, Jammu and Kashmir is going to host uh, the first of its kind MCH conclave or Maternal and Child Health conclave, which is basically a two-day national level event, which will uh, be in the format of a best practice sharing summit. So, we want to lead the country in uh, bringing together uh, all the leading uh, maternal and pediatric experts uh, both from the uh, tertiary care side, the clinical side, as well as uh, the community health side, uh, and also from uh, the ministry, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, as well as uh, developmental organizations, uh, uh, multilateral organizations like WHO, Norway India Partnership Initiative, uh, uh, so on and so forth, and uh, have an intense uh, you know series of discussions, a series of panel discussions on the burning topics related to MCH here in JLK. Uh, so this was uh, being planned uh, well in advance uh, for pretty much the last six months, uh, but because and, and this IMR uh, reduction news just happened to come, so we are very glad to leverage upon it and uh, make uh, JNK as the center of attention or rather the, as a center of convergence for uh, discussions regarding improvement in MCH care. Uh, now uh, I'd like to lay some background. Uh, uh, National Health Mission, its genesis uh, was actually in uh, the scheme called RCH, uh, Reproductive and Childhood. Uh, the you know dozen other schemes were added later, but uh, maternal and child health remain our core bread and butter, so as to say. The Janni Shishu Suraksha Yojana, Janni Suraksha Yojana, or the Rashtra Bal Swasthya Karikram. Uh, these have been you know the age-old uh, you know schemes that have been running in uh, uh, NHM for the last more than a decade, uh, and uh, we have been building upon them, uh, not just in a beneficiary-oriented scheme promotion manner, but also as I said in terms of infrastructure. And uh, uh, this is where uh, I'm coming to. So. Uh, one instance or you know evidence that I want to lay out is uh, the establishment of uh, dedicated uh, infant and neonatal care uh, or other critical care uh, uh, units in the form of say SNCU, special newborn care units, or NICU, NICU, newborn intensive care unit, or PICU, pediatric intensive care unit, which uh, NHM had been uh, very arduously sponsoring and uh, uh, you know uh, establishing in all the district hospitals and even those which later got converted into GMC and even the, uh, the CHCs. And uh, it is because of this infrastructure addition that uh, we have been able to see uh, you know, more and more uh, sick neonates uh, not being referred uh, and hence you know, uh, losing their lives in transit and many other things. Uh, we are uh, very proud to say that uh, JNK UT uh, or NHM JNK was one of the first state or UT uh, state health societies in the country to establish all these uh, units in a time bound manner. I am also uh, very glad to uh, inform you, and uh, a lot of you would have followed this uh, particular uh, event uh, which took place in SMGS Hospital Jammu a couple of uh, uh, months ago. Uh, this was in regard to the ECRP package, the Emergency Covid Response Package, which was given by the Government of India, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, as a special dispensation to states and duties to fight uh, Covid uh, 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 through various uh, you know, means, be it say infrastructure support, HR support, uh, 
drugs and diagnostic and whatnot. And as a part of it, uh, particularly as part of ECRP2 package, we uh, got sanctioned for uh, 42 maternal ICUs and pediatric ICUs. And the foundation stone of the same was laid by Honorable Lieutenant Governor Sir uh, two months ago in SMDS. And uh, I'm uh, very proud to announce that uh, all of those uh, uh, ICUs have been uh, completed, they have been uh, successfully uh, constructed and uh, are functioning and will be inaugurated during the inaugural session, uh, during the opening session of uh, this MCH conclave in the morning of uh, 6th June. Uh, this, uh, these ICUs are all 20 bedded ICUs and they are uh, established in all the district hospitals. So the whole uh, idea of uh, you know specialized ICUs, I mean normal ICU every district hospital has some way or the other. Uh, but specialized ICUs for maternal and uh, pediatric care were not existing and uh, this is the biggest, uh, single biggest uh, infrastructure addition in uh, this uh, subsector uh, for the last uh, decade I would say. Okay. And uh, now we can uh, uh, you know, imagine or rather expect that uh, our uh, critical neonates would get uh, you know, intensive care treatment in Kupwada alone, in Kulgam alone, in Kushtwad or Punj and uh, would not have to uh, be referred in this a uh, few other developments that I wish to add uh, upon here. Uh, so this event was basically planned in collaboration with the Norway-India Partnership Initiative, uh, which is a unique, uh, you know, uh, collaboration running between Government of India and Government of Norway. And in India, three states, uh, uh, you know, run this program, or were chosen to run this program. And these include uh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, and uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, Nipi has been associated with JNK for the last seven years now, and uh, their support has been critical in terms of, it has been very essential in terms of, uh, you know. Uh, consultancy and uh, uh, monitoring and evaluation studies, uh, which lead to you know course correction uh, and uh, proper implementation of our programs. Um, we are also going to launch this uh, special report called Situational Analysis of Maternal Health in Jammu and Kashmir, which is a very intensive study conducted over the last three to four years to actually analyze where we stand with respect to uh, maternal health. Uh, unlike IMR, MMR is not formally calculated. Uh, you must might have heard that somewhere. So. Uh, a lot of times we really don't have an idea about what is the exact situation. We do have certain instances of some pregnant lady dying on the way or from say Shopian to Srinagar because uh, she was she started hemorrhaging or had PPA, so on and so forth. But we actually don't have those figures uh, that particularly. So this study is one first of its kind and is meant to you know uh, show us exactly where we stand uh, with regard to maternal health specifically. Uh, with regard to maternal health, there is uh, one more, uh, you know, area, focus area that uh, we are, uh, you know, laying emphasis upon. In fact, that's the first technical session uh, that we are having. And that's regarding the high LSCS, exceptionally high LSCS rate in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, I'm not sure if some, some of you were, uh, uh, you know, aware of this conversation that we started uh, around a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I want to attract your attention to this uh, serious issue of, uh, you know, uh, almost 40 Two percent of all the deliveries that are happening in uh, JNK are cesarean sections, and in uh, Kashmir division alone, that percentage is almost sixty percent. The standard uh, WHO norm is fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. So that means that out of the total, say hundred babies were born, uh, only fifteen would require cesarean births. The others should be born through natural birth, but that's not the case. And what we have seen is a very perverse, uh, you know push to encourage LSCS and we can expect that out of say uh, private hospitals because uh, there's a monetary incentive for them there but uh, uh, for uh, government hospitals also it is quite quite uh, shocking and surprising and we have evidence uh, there has been clear cut uh, you know evidence established that uh, uh, babies born of cesareans are actually weaker than those who are born of natural birth and uh, there's also a very serious uh, access issue here. Uh, you know, there are very poor families who could have uh, had a normal delivery but are instead pushed to undertake an expensive caesarean costing one lakh or so in a private hospital or even, you know, elsewhere. So, uh, this is something which is growing out of hand, I believe, and uh, that's why NHM JNK has decided to ring the alarm bells and uh, take up this issue head on. Uh, we ha are in consultation with many of our, uh, uh, you know, uh, stakeholders uh, and we've mandated the conduct of uh, an LSES audit. Uh, that is to say, actually analyze whether uh, all the cesareans that took place uh, were those of the babies which actually needed a cesarean or not. Uh, for all the uh, you know babies that have taken place in our government, government system. Um, LSCS audit was not actually happening in JNK up until now, even though uh, in many other states, particularly the southern states, it's a very leading practice. We have 
also set up some uh, other uh, ways and means, some mechanisms uh, to promote uh, natural birth through uh, initiatives like uh, say midwifery promotion for institutional births as well as uh, incentivizing uh, the uh, doctors and uh, staff who undertake natural births and so on and so forth. A uh, few other things, uh, this event will uh, also see uh, on the inaugural uh, ceremony as well. Uh, this uh, great, uh, you know, uh, path-breaking uh, development of uh, a leading number of our labor rooms receiving the Luxure certification. Luxure stands for Labor Room Quality Assurance uh, System and it is uh, uh, basically a standard system for uh, labor rooms. We are uh, aware of the old age problem that labor room puta puta hai, uh, uh, delivery table hai, that is broken, light is not there, what not. So this is a standard system which NHM enforces and we not just uh, enforce it, we also equip those uh, labor rooms to uh, make sure that uh, everybody, every woman will have a safe and dignified uh, delivery. Uh, you should all know that uh, all the maternal health programs uh, sponsored by ministry were subsumed under this umbrella program called SUMAN or Surakshit Matrita Vashwasan and the aim of which is uh, safe and dignified motherhood. So, you know, in uh, uh, convergence or uh, in, uh, say, uh, if we dovetail them uh, with uh, or polish them with uh, the existing, uh, you know, uh, uh, schemes like uh, GSSK or uh, PMSMA, you would realize that all of this is coming together. So a woman, uh, as soon as she gets a, a start, she conceives she, under PMSMA, she starts having free ANC checkups, where the ANM herself takes her to a gynecologist every ninth uh, of the month. And then uh, under JSSK, she gets a free delivery, including free ambulance pick and drop under 102. And uh, then finally, the SUMAN program is aimed at ensuring that all our women, all our uh, mothers, have a very dignified experience when they are, uh, you know, going through this extremely, extremely important uh, phase uh, in their lives. So, luxury certifications uh, are going to, of course, uh, you know, ensure that uh, we have the best of the, uh, you know, quality, uh, the state of the art uh, labor rooms, which will uh, ensure this dignified uh, deliveries to our mothers. A few other things that I would want to bring, share the, you know, focus areas that we are dealing upon. Uh, so, apart from a situational analysis and uh, addressing the 